Hi, welcome back. Another important session. Let's see today how proof of delivery works in SAP SD or S4 HANA 2020. So, like, uh, so VLPOD is the transaction. Okay. Uh, let's try to check on S4 HANA system how it works. So, before that, let me try to show you what is the basic advantage with this actually okay so generally what happens so you created an order okay delivery pza and f2 billing you are doing so this is actually you know it it creates a barrier okay before billing one more step increases so how it happens let me add one more column so this is VLPOD is exactly coming here. What exactly it will do? So regular time you will do 100 bags order, 100 bags delivery, 100 bags PCA. Okay. And you will do 100 bags billing. So why you want this layer actually? I will tell you what is the basic reason. So suppose you order 100, delivered 100. Okay. So actually you delivered 100. And you delivered 100. Okay. So later, see, VLPOD is the intimation which is coming from customer end actually, the proof of delivery. Okay. So he received 100 quantity. He received 100, but actually 99 is working condition. One piece is not working. If one piece is not working, we already seen that we can able to write credit memo or else you can do the returns or else uh, you can able to do it like you know you can able to settle down like you know free uh, subsequent free of charge okay instead of uh, you know confusing like you know you, you think that it's a big company it's very difficult for them to handle all those things okay so what they can do is they will tell that boss 99 owner so what this VLPOD will do we can able to manage 99 pieces here then instead of doing 100 if you if you punch it 100 then you have a problem then you can able to do it 99 for billing this is one way okay every customer i have seen different customers will have different processes so this is one of the reason like you know intimation to finance okay let's take an example okay how the vlp works this is the one way so like, you know, VLP, POD, for that you will put some days, like, you know, it is three days or five days or something like that. What exactly happens? Again, you see another scenario, 100 quantity done, 100 quantity delivered, 100 quantity PCA done, but you don't have any intimation. Okay. So automatically what uh, the billing job will do, if you put a VLP, POD time frame as five days, after five days, automatically it will create a bill. So if it is the first case, then. In this case, you have to write a credit memo. That's why each and every process is very important. You cannot neglect it. Okay. So no process is not going to justify completely uh, to came across. Uh, this is the mono policy, uh, you know, to justify the customer. That's why we have these many document types and SD. Now it is in S4 HANA. Don't worry. Let's try to understand. Okay. So next one is. Finance department rule. Okay, they said that you know if you don't do VLPOD, so how much quantity you received, we don't want to punch till that time. It will be like this only. Okay, it has one reason. A third reason to avoid customer insecurity. Okay. Why you have this? Uh, why why it why he is going to insecure? Suppose this is hundred quantity. Okay. Suppose one piece or hundred pieces. Assume that it is like you know one lakh worth euros stock is supposed to be delivered. In that uh, uh, in the similar way, this is one order. Okay. Like that, customer might order like you know hundred orders every month. In a quarter, how many? 400 orders. 
okay in a financial year how many 1200 orders so if it is festive season is there one more 200 on 1400 orders okay if you don't have this uh, facility like vlpod like a customer which order how much quantity he lost how he will come to know okay so i think you got some idea about vlpod this you already know if you are already got introduced to ecc let's try to check in as for hana how exactly we are going to push this one up okay so let me go back let me try to create one sales order and i will show you how P vlpod works once it is activated okay let's take this document and this distribution journal and this division okay so take the customer so before vlpod okay we have different scenarios are there i'm just showing the basic scenario in my ecc course i have already explained how vlp vlpod works and in different uh, time frames so let's try to do this uh, maybe i can save this order so 205 is the order number let's try to build uh, delivery this one okay mm -hmm. take the shipping point go back probably i might be like you know i'm just giving the selected date as 25 let's do the picking mm -hmm. okay do the post goods issue this is fine now let's come here do the billing okay function f8 so let's save this so this is the regular flow now go to va03 let's check the doc flow this still here everyone knew this one okay so if it is uh, SAP ECC, you will you can able to do the same thing. And if it is since it is S4 HANA, let's go to the BP transaction. Okay. Uh, so for the same customer, let's click this. Okay. Go to the customer role. After a long time, we are getting back to our business partner. Okay. Let's come to the shipping. So you can see if it is POD relevant, you can, you can able to take this one. Let's go to the change mode first. You take this. Okay. If you want to put time frame like two days or three days, like, you know, you can able to keep the this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I have, I have set the time frame. Now, let's try to do the same process again mm -hmm. so let's take this one okay real body test why i'm writing transaction you can remember this one otherwise i can able to write something like you know proof of delivery process or something like that so let's save this now you got order 206 so let's try to do the delivery okay so let's do the pca now let's try to do the bill so if it is done then something went wrong in s4 okay Oh, why it is allowing? Let me check the control is activated or not. Okay, it is POD relevant. This is fine.
let me try to create one more so let's investigate why it is not working before creating another sales order there is one setting i remember okay let's come to logistics execution uh, drop down the shipping go to deliveries see you can able to see proof of delivery okay so let's click here so our item category is standard item category 10 it should be pod relevant okay And as for there is one more given POD automatic what exactly it is manual POD processing partial automated POD full automated POD okay let's try to put it Let's save this and if you would like to check the quantity differences, you can able to create it regions actually. Okay, generally in standard, these two will be there. If you want, you can able to define your own. Okay, so now let's try to create a sales order. Who created in BP activated, how we have created activated previously for in our SD course for what I would say in you know, XD02 settings in ECC course in the similar way we are trying this one okay let's try the 10 quantity let's save this let's hope for the best this time live I am recording let's try so sell okay first goods issue now let's try to build it See, you are getting a log. Previously, it used to allow. Okay. Item category level, we are not activated, right? Let's come and check the log. See, POD report back, not at carried out or incomplete log. Okay. So, let's do this. This is a report, VL POD press center. Okay. So, you have to give the Proof of delivery date. Okay, I have received this one. Okay. So you have to confirm this one. Okay. So that means delivery quantity 10, proof of quantity also we are giving 10. Let's save this. Now let's try to do the VF01. So definitely it will allow for billing for 10 quantity. So if you have quantity differences, you can able to find there. So now let's try to go to uh, VA03. You can able to see the doc flow. Okay. What you have done? Create delivery, picking, goods issue, invoice and that's it. Now let's try to create a one more order. Okay. Press enter. So test one let's put it we'll see the quantity difference how it works let's press one let's save this now vl01n okay so actually delivery quantity is one assume that you, you have done two pieces for delivery you have done okay now let's try to do the VF01. Again, you will get a issue because VLPOD, we have to tell to the finance how much quantity received. Press center. Now you can see that delivery quantity is this one and POD quantity is different. If you would like to tell the difference, what are all the reasons you have? Power delivery. 
okay what is the quantity difference one bag extra okay so so it is showing in pieces it is in five pieces one bag so now let's take the this is what we are telling to finance from customer side so difference is confirmed so let's save this now let's try to bill now okay we can see this the additional quantity if it is more then you can increase if it is less then you can decrease this is how we can able to play the system on top of it you can able to use credit memo and debit memos so this is one of the key key, key flexibility in uh, especially if you have more orders like retail industry and some kind of spare parts manufacturing it is very useful that's it so this is a transaction you try to remember this okay if you have any doubts you can uh, comment and you can share this one yeah one update uh, like uh, i have my courses available 70 plus hours ecc course with the ones 166 lectures this is get continuously get updated and uh, currently i'm recording s4 2020 that is going to be available in future maybe another uh, uh, maybe around uh, mid of the march or somewhere so you can able to see this this is the course and this if you have doubts you can go through this course for pricing if you're a beginner and there is one more course available for function spec writing you can utilize before getting into the real time so i have few other set of courses available on s4 hana okay if you if you are still working on ecc better go through this course i have explained three scenarios so internal number range with the same number bp and customer vendor internal number range bp customer vendor different number range and uh, external number range with the uh, same bp same customer and same vendor that i explained you can go through this course so this must be needed if you are working in s4 hana project okay so all links i am gi giving below of this video okay you can enhance your knowledge uh, if you like this video okay you can subscribe it i am going to give more updates to enhance your knowledge thank you very much have a great day Jai Hind.